Hello, 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 front row. Um, I'm going to do a really quick answer to a, a question. Um, and I don't often get a chance to do this because I am usually uh, doing this for the people in the front row VIP. Um, that is my private membership uh, community, which is still open for a short time. It's going to close soon because I'm going to be concentrating on uh, launching and um, promoting social media summer camp. Uh, but you can still get in at frontrowvip.com. And this is the sort of thing that I do on a daily basis, um, answering questions as they pop up. And uh, but every once in a while, I get a chance to still do this in uh, in this free group, which is a pleasure uh, for me to do. So um, I think that's better. I think that's my Logitech camera. OK, so now let me share my screen and show you what our question was today. Uh, so Krishna, let's see if we can find it. Let me just start over with Facebook. Here we go. Okay, so this is Krisha, not Krishna. Krisha Sarah Bowen um, said, can anyone guide me on how you can have a video sponsored ad on Facebook that when clicked goes into a landing page with registration for a webinar? Uh, so uh, what I did was, um, and this is how I typically start my journey when I'm trying to answer somebody's question. Uh, so I cl clicked on uh, Krisha's um, name, and then I clicked on View Profile. And uh, and then so I get over here, and uh, sometimes when you ask me a question, you're going to get additional answers that you weren't really looking for. So sorry if I'm going to give you things you really didn't want, weren't asking me about, but I just sort of can't help myself. So. You know, on Facebook, when we interact with people just as you did in the front row, um, that's all we have to go on is our profiles because Facebook doesn't let us use our professional avatars to to um, network on Facebook. So when I clicked over, I needed to see what your business was, what you did. And uh, I see on your intro, it says, purpose is my voice, happiness is my choice, life is my canvas, I write, I speak, I coach. Um, and I just want to make a, a, a small suggestion there, and that is, uh, first of all, right here, I would just say, I am a life coach, if that's what you are, or I teach entrepreneurs that happiness is a choice, or something, and then say, at uh, purposediaries.com, or wherever it is you're trying to drive traffic, because even though this is your personal page, you want people to be able to easily find you. Also, um, you're wasting this banner uh, up here, I think, by not also putting in a URL. I mean, a lot of people don't use any kind of professional stuff on their personal profile, but since you went ahead and went there and you're, you are, you might as well also put a URL. Um, what I have on my personal profile is, hey, I'm Jen Laner. this is my personal profile. Uh, where you'll find pics of my family for biz. And then I've got my, my Facebook business page up there in the URL. That's how I decided to, um, to deal with that. And let's see here. All right. So there's that information that you were totally not even asking me for, but sorry, I had to mention that. Okay. And now where it says, now I scroll down and I see that you're managing one, two, three, four, Facebook pages. Um, that's fine if you really do want people to check them all out, but understand that they probably won't check them all out. So it might be that you only want to list one page um, that you're most focused on right now in terms of driving business and conversions and all that good stuff. So uh, the one that I clicked on, I did not click on each of these. I only clicked on Purpose Diaries, and I was glad that I did because uh, you're killing it over here. You are rocking your live streams. You're doing an amazing job. You're super busy. You've got great content. So, so well done. Okay. Uh, and you are really like the queen of live streaming, I think. So, uh, so that's great. Now, I think what you're asking me is, I think you have seen one of those Facebook ads like on mobile when you click and it, it's really beautiful and takes you in this to a landing page that sort of blows out uh, 
over the screen of the phone, and that is called a Canvas ad. So I think that's what you're talking about. Um, and I'm going to show you where you will find uh, a Canvas ad. I cover this all in great detail in my uh, down and dirty, like just what you need Facebook ads course called uh, Totally Rad Facebook Ads, but also that course is included in Front Row VIP. Just saying. Uh, okay, so where am I going? All right, Ads Manager. But I think I'm going to back out of here so you could just sort of see it from the beginning. Okay, um, back out some more, back out some more. All right, dang, let me just close out of here altogether. And we're going to go to Manage Ads, click on our Ads account. And if you're, if you're running ads, if you're like me, you like to start with a clean slate and Facebook always shows you sort of like every ad you've ever run so go up here to filters and click camp I'm gonna click campaign delivery and active because since I don't have anything active now it gives me a nice beautiful clean slate okay that's step number one uh, the campaign we're gonna uh, click a new cr campaign I'm just gonna call it test and delete two and that's because I did a test and delete earlier um, and our campaign objective is going to be, um, we're going to say conversions. And I'm going to call this, let's just pretend it's our warm list. And for our ad, so ad set is, is our audience. And then ad name is the actual graphic or video or whatever. You just want to make sure you name it something that makes sense to you. So let's just say pink kitty cat I mean I have no idea okay save to draft all right <clears throat> so now we are in our ad sets I tried this earlier when I went live and it just got stuck and it wouldn't let me edit and then as soon as I went offline it showed up and it looks like it's doing the same thing. Hold on. I should have left it open from before and just started there. Let's see what happens. Don't you hate that spinning wheel? Spinning, spinning. Um, while that's happening, I'm going to see if you guys are um, saying anything while that's loading. Still loading. Goodness gracious. And on my phone, it's not even showing my live stream. But I think if you are commenting, I will see it. Because Ecamm usually shows me that. All right, don't know what's going on. Let me hit reload. reload. All right. Test three. Try this again. Conversions. Uh, warm three. Uh, new ad. Pink giraffe. Okay. Save to draft. There we go. You see on the right how that window just popped open? Okay, so. Uh, we, our key result is actually going to be registrations because that's what you had asked about. And then now we're going to click on that middle tab. And this is our audience. This is where we set our budget, uh, our schedule, 
And, um, yeah, so it's asking me where is the conversion event location. So in this case, you would choose the thank you page for your registrations, like after they, after they register for your webinar, you're, you will know that they were a conversion because they land on your thank you page. So that is going to be what it, you're going to select here. Okay. You're going to set your daily budget. And if you want to add, um, you know, you're either going to choose a custom audience like your email list that you upload, uploaded, or you're going to do detailed targeting by interest and all that good stuff. Um, I have to say targeting is really my favorite, favorite, favorite thing to do in, I would say, after live streaming, targeting inside Facebook ads is one of my favorite things to do. It's like fishing, you know, um, and it's so exciting to see sort of like what combination is going to work. Okay, the next thing, we're not going to get into placements and all that. We're going to go over to the ad itself, our pink giraffe ad, okay, and you're going to choose the Facebook page, and if you want it... Um, if you want an Instagram ad, you're going to choose your Instagram page. And then we're going to choose, I'm going to show you right here, add full screen canvas. Okay, so you could choose a template right here. And they give you these nice, beautiful templates, or you could do a custom canvas. So you're going to choose here and it'll walk you through. Okay. But this is, I think what you were talking about because they really do look beautiful on mobile. When you, um, when you, uh, click into these and it opens up like this whole landing page experience. Okay. So they, they really are uh, quite wonderful. Let's click preview on mobile and maybe it'll show us even though I haven't done anything just to show you guys. Okay, a notification has been sent to me. Oh, right, because you can only view it on mobile, and I don't have my phone connected right now to my computer, so you're not going to see it. But trust me, it's very gorgeous. Okay, and then on your button, for the action that you want them to take right here, what you could do is lead them to your landing page. So I found one of your landing page. You know, when you first asked the question, I didn't know if you were brand new to marketing and you needed me to show you, like, how to do landing pages too, but... When I went and looked, I'm like, oh, no, 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 you got that covered. You know what you're doing. Um, so you've got this. Here's one of your landing pages. So let's pretend this was um, your registration page for your webinar. That would be the URL that you put in there. So, um, you know, that's just a 50,000 foot view of how to do a Canvas ad. Uh, but I encourage you to give it a shot. I think they are really, really uh, effective. And, um, yeah, so let me just stop sharing my screen and come back to you and, uh, and just remind you that today is Taco Tuesday. That stands for, um, in the front row, that stands for technology and apps creating opportunities. And that's when we all share our favorite, uh, plugins, tools. And you know what? Don't worry if it's an old tool. It's been around a while. If you just discovered it, tell us about it uh, because we've got people in the front row who have just learned how to use email, I mean, that are just brand, brand new to the digital world. And then, of course, we've got people um, who are making uh, multiple six figures with online businesses. We have everybody in here. So uh, please share your favorite tools, apps, plugins. Um, and let us know. And then I compile these into a nice list for you uh, weekly in our uh, weekly roundup newsletter. So you want to make sure and subscribe to that. You'll see it here somewhere, um, an opportunity to do that here in the front row. And also you can look for the graphic for Taco Tuesday. Uh, so I'm not seeing any comments or questions. I'm going to make sure and tag um, Kisha, Sarah, Bowen, uh, for so she sees the answer to her question and I hope you have a great day and a great rest of the week. Bye.